Good afternoon. We're headed to Packwood, Washington. The truck is all packed. As you can see, the backpack strap behind me on the headrest because we've got a little boy in the back. We found a pet friendly cabin, um, so we're taking our seven month old Husky Malamute mix, his name is Rupert, um, to the cabin with us. Driving down to Packwood, it's about two and a half ish hours from where we live in Washington, and we're pretty excited. The cabin looks super cute um, and really well decorated, which, you know, I have a thing for that. So it's got a cedar hot tub. It's close to Rainier. Unfortunately, that entrance to Rainier is closed, so we're not gonna be able to go this time, but that's okay. There's lots to explore in and around the Packwood area, so pretty stoked. We are at the Little Owl Cabin here in Packwood, Washington, and I'm going to show you guys around. So coming down this hallway, gorgeous paintings. And then you enter into the main living area. To my left is the kitchen, and then right ahead of me is the living space. And we've got a wood stove, which is so cozy. To see outside. The deck is very big and we've got a cedar hot tub which we'll show you later. Um, so you've got all this seating area and then you have the dining room table which I have to say I absolutely love this detail. It is so beautiful and so different. It's something you wouldn't really expect. I can take you guys upstairs. What I really love about this place is it actually sleeps seven people. So there is a bedroom downstairs, which we walked past, and that sleeps five people. And then behind me is the bed, and that's the main bedroom, and that sleeps two other people, so that's seven people. Really great place for kind of a romantic getaway, couples cabin getaway. Um, really has great access to Mount Rainier as well, so that's awesome um, in the summertime when that road is open. Anyways, enough about that. Let's talk about the space. It is absolutely beautiful. Again, with that like retro mid-century vibe, absolutely love it. You can tell that they really took their time in decorating and being really intentional with the, the way they decorate their space. You'll see little details from a globe to really old 1970s um, life magazines, an old Nikon, just really intentional again with the space. And it kind of is like taking a step back in time in a way, but from a traveler's perspective, which is really cool. And so we can walk through here. And this is the main sleeping area. So comfy. Um, no blinds, so you are up with the sun, which I absolutely love. Um, you've got a little curtain that kind of blocks off if there are other people sleeping here. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And it's also pet friendly. <laughs> okay, so we just got here. And we were talking about the elk. And there's not right in our front yard. He's just hanging out. And there's one coming across the street too. Oh my gosh. 
But there's one, two, three, five that I can see. Maybe we can go home with a new pet. No new pet. I don't think Rupert really like that. The kitchen is so spacious. Um, bunches of countertop space. You could do some cutting here. You could do some coffee making here, which tomorrow morning, babe. I really love this little skylight right here. I don't know if you necessarily consider that a skylight, but I do. It lets in so much natural light, which I love a kitchen with a little bit of natural light. What's great about this kitchen too at the Little Owl Cabin is they have it fully equipped. There's a dishwasher, a full oven, a full stove top. They have all the appliances you really need. There's a microwave. They provide you with a coffee grinder and a pour over, a French press, or a traditional coffee pot. I mean, these people have you covered. Um, I am looking at a food processor. <laughs> They've got a blender. Um, they have pots and pans and cookie sheets and things like that. So really all you need to do is burn all your favorite food and you can have a feast here. It is awesome and can totally see a family enjoying Thanksgiving or the holidays here in a spot like this. All right, we're gonna settle in for the night, probably relax, watch some YouTube TV, watch some YouTube, it's kind of our thing, and we will see you guys in the morning. say good morning <laughs> um we woke up and as you saw made athletic greens and coffee and now we're just up on this deck that's off of our bedroom today you know we're gonna enjoy our coffee whip up a little breakfast and then go into town um on our way in we saw some elk and i really want to go find them and probably hit a coffee shop because you know one can never have enough we'll come back hang out, relax, play some Scrabble, go in the hot tub, and just enjoy it. It's so quiet out here. Um, if you listen, there's no traffic. You can't hear the city hustle and bustle. It's just so peaceful. House goals, for sure. this morning and um, the owner had warned us about elk in the area and you can hear Rupert barking because we started to walk him before we could go close and um, there's two elk about to cross the road down there. Um, one is just standing on the road currently. I wanted to grab my camera to take some photos. Um, so yeah, we're going to see if we can get a little bit closer. Obviously we don't want to scare them. Rupert's already barking so we're going to play it by ear but Hopefully I'll be able to share some photos with you guys. It's crazy to see the elk in the neighborhood. Um, typically you see like deer and things like that. Um, never elk. So it's pretty crazy. They just live you know, amongst the people, people amongst them. All seems very kind of natural. Just another day in the neighborhood, I guess. <laughs>
actually our first board we ever had and this booklet's full so I'm not really sure why it's in there but just kidding. Babe, we got one page. One page fell out. Seems like it was meant for a little out cabin. up our night our stay here entirely really um we're gonna head home tomorrow morning um but that's been a couple nights here at the little owl cabin in packwood um so cozy and something i've been looking forward to for a while now we booked this months ago and i'm just so happy it's finally here and again tomorrow's my birthday so it just really was a special weekend to get away and get away from the hustle and bustle and take rupert with us and yeah so it's been wonderful and I 10 out of 10 recommend staying here, whether it's a group of you um, or just another couple or you and your girlfriends. I cannot recommend this place enough. It lived up to and I guess exceeded every expectation that I had. And so that's it for now. And I will catch you all next time. Thanks for watching. Babe, where's Rupert?